Good morning from Changdo, China. It is the host city of the Victor China Open 2023, the fourth and final Super 1000 event on the HSBC BWF World Tour in 2023. We're coming to you live from the Olympic Sports Center, Xinjiang Gymnasium to be specific. And it's quarterfinals day here at the event. We've had three days of scintillating action and it's only getting better. Of course, what all the players are playing for is that HSBC BWF World Cup Finals trophy that you see on your screens there. Only the top eight players and pairs will qualify for the season-ending event that is going to be held in Hangzhou, China. Well, we're going to focus at this Super 1000 tournament and it's a little bit special here on quarterfinals day. It's been split into two sessions. The morning sessions on court two will have four matches at 10 a.m. and then the evening session which gets underway at 5 p.m. local time will have the remaining four matches. That's what's coming up here very, very shortly. Well, looking at the order of play today, the morning session sees Chen Tangjie and Cho Yi Wei take on Ye Hong Wei and Li Chia Sin in the mixed doubles unseeded encounter. One of two fully unseeded matchups today on court two. That's followed by more mixed doubles action and the number eight seeds, Tom Jukel and Delphine Del Rue taking on the world number twos, Yuto Watanabe and Arisa Higashino in an all-seeded affair. And the match that follows is one for the ages, women's singles and the World number four, Tai Tsu Ying, takes on two-time and defending champion Carolina Marin, the world number six from Spain. To end the morning session, there'll be men's doubles actions and world championships. Silver medalist Kim Astrup and Anders Karab Rasmussen of Denmark go up against the world number fives, Takura Hoki and Yugo Kobayashi. That would wrap up the four matches in the morning. And then in the evening, we're going to have women's doubles to get things going. An old Japanese affair between two-time world champions, Mayu Matsumoto, Wakana Nagahara, and former world number ones, Nami Matsuyama and Chiharu Shida. That'll be followed by women's singles action and Line Hoima Kersfeld of Denmark carrying the Danish flag in the women's singles discipline now, taking on the world number two, Akane Yamaguchi. An old Malaysian affair in the men's doubles will follow Ong Yu Sin, Yi, the number eight seeds, taking on former world champions Aaron Chia, So Wei Yik. That's also an all seeded affair. To close out the evening session is that other unseeded matchup that we talked about, Lu Guangzhou of China going up against Kanta Sunayama of Japan. That's the action that's coming up here on quarterfinals day on Court 2. We're going to turn our attention to the mixed doubles and as you can see seven nations represented in the final eight and uh, the match between Chen Tanjie, Cho Yi Wei and Yo Hong Wei, Li Chia Sin, the winner there will face either Jukel Dal Ru or Watanabe Higashino in the semi-finals and potentially await our either world champion Seo Sung Jae, Che Yu Jung or of course world number ones Jung and Wang or of course there's the Thai pair, the number four seeds Kuavarnuko and Tara Tanachai. So that's two matches down to the final. We're going to focus on this match at hand. And there's so much riding on this quarterfinal because both these pairs are looking to make the semifinals of the China Open for the very first time. Now we saw Chen and To lead the way. The world number 11s. Following them, Ye and Lee, the world number 15s. This is their fourth meeting, and the Malaysians hold on to a very, very comfortable 3 0 head to head advantage. The last met at the Taipei Open, and you saw there the semi finals this year. Chen and Zhou winning that one 21 14, 21 19. In fact, all three meetings have come this year. Sudirman Cup, group stages. Chen and Cho won that, 17-21, 21-19, 21-17. And the other meeting was at the Orleans Masters Final. And the Malaysians won that, 21-19, 21-17. So two straight game wins and one that went all the distance. Which way will it go here? Can Ye Hong Wei and Li Chia Sing get their first ever win over the Malaysians? 
Toei Ray, the younger of the two, 22 years of age from Malacca, Malaysia. They're enjoying their best ranking in the world at 11. They got there in August of 2023. And, uh, well, they are certainly a promising prospect for the Malaysians. As you can see there, Chang Chang Jie, 25 from Ipoh. He's a tall player at 180 centimeters. And, uh, well, their win-loss record this year has been 32 to 16. At the quarterfinals, it's uh, more evenly placed at four wins to four losses. But they have won their last three in four tournaments. They beat Kim Wan Ho and Jung Naun, the number six seeds in round two. That was a big result for them in three games in, an hour, in just under an hour. Before that, in round one, it was uh, the Indian pair that they beat in straight games. So a big, big confidence-boosting win in round two to take them here into the quarterfinals. Ye Hong Wei, the younger of the two, 23 years of age from Taipei. And it's world number 15 position is the highest they're enjoying also got there in August of 2023 but his partner Lee Chia Sin has gotten higher she got to world number 10 as you can see there with her former partner Wang Shi Lin she's 26 also from the capital they have a win-loss record of 28 to 18 this year but their quarterfinal is extremely impressive. It stands at five wins to no losses. They had one walkover, which doesn't really count as a loss. They had one walkover to Zheng and Huang at the Japan Open. And they too come after a big win in the second round, beat Feng Yanzhe and Huang Dongping in three games. Sorry, in two games, number three seeds in 45 minutes. In fact, they have yet to drop a game, these two. Even beat a dangerous pair in the first round in Tabling and Peak. Chu Shui Yun is the umpire for this match, and she'll be joined in the service judges' chair by David Graf von Schwerin of Austria. They are your technical officials of this match. So, yeah, so that impeccable quarterfinal record for Ye and Lee is definitely one to keep an eye on. You can see, though, Ye Hong Wei's knee right knee is quite heavily strapped I wonder whether that will be a cause for concern well, they both played at the world championships Chang and Tu exited in the quarterfinals that was the last tournament lost to Watanabe and Hiroshino in straight games whereas Ye Hong Wei and Lee Sin exited in the second round losing to Kim and Jung in three games both making their China Open debut as pairs Though Lee Chia Sin has played Ladies once before in 2016 right in Wakati and, and lost in the first round Chinese there to Zhang Taipei. and Li in two games. And we're going to see <laughs> Lee Chia Sin serve and over this match. to serve to Chen Hanjie. Low four. Play. So here we go. It will be extremely handy for them that they've beaten these opponents twice this year already, the Malaysians. It's definitely a mental edge that you develop. Especially when you're playing all oh. so often in oh. one year. Two, love. There hasn't been a, any kind of sort of gap for. Oh. Yeah, to turn things around in terms of surprises. Oh. That's out. Service sofa. One, two. They're a very quick attacking pair. Very exciting to watch. Oh. It's going to take every bit of defense and skill, defensive skill from Ye and Lee. Keep themselves in this match. So, very
very quickly a three-point lead for the Malaysians. Two service faults give the Chinese Taipei pair two points. Fantastic work. Both Six, two. Chin and toe taking turns to move their opponents from left to right. Oh, again. Extremely well executed drop shot there. Going across the net. And they've been. A little bit blindsided here, here and Lee. She missed that. Seven soldier, three, seven. Four, seven. That return. Going well wide. Of course, we've talked about the drift the last few days. And uh, Sulfur. Eight, Chen four. and Toe on the, are on the less advantageous side. Because uh, if you play on the near end of the court, when you try to get lift or clear, go above the heads of your opponent, there is a drift eight. that then takes the shuttle along. It carries the shuttle beyond the lines of the court. There is also, I think, a little sideways drift at the bottom right-hand corner of that court. Because we've seen yesterday a couple of times, Wang Tzu Wei, when he went, when he aimed to shuttle down that corner, it curved in. No one doubles. Most of the battles are fought at the net. It's less likely. game now. Well, it stopped a three-point run over. by Ian and Lee, Eight. that mistake. And it's a bit of a relief for the Malaysians who were looking really comfortable early on in this first game. They still managed to keep themselves ahead. It's a noisy stadium because on court one, you've got the world number ones, Jung Su Wei and Huang Ya Chong in action. And they're taking on, of course, the world champions, Siu Sung Jui and Che Jung. So, big match. Jung and Huang and So will be happy to have home support. So, they've struggled to find their lines. Chen and Toe. We've seen that even being made more apparent in these last two points. I think they should stick to the net, but just as I say that, the error at the net for Toei Wei, and it's 10-0. On level terms.
Well, how about that? That's six of the last seven interval. points that uh, Ye Hong Wei and Lee Chia Sin took to take the lead, 11-10. At the break, the breath from both the Chinese Taipei shufflers at the net. Ye Hong Wei just nudging the shuttle over, and they have a one-point advantage halfway through. Ya, mereka pasti kena oli terus. Kamu setengah ke depan dulu aja jaga jabnya. Ya, bola enak, tekan dulu perempuannya. Ya, jangan ragu-ragu dari satu bisa dua, bisa ketiga dia. Ya, For two, 20 20 seconds. For two, 20 seconds. Players quickly back on court to resume this first game where Yo Hong Wei and Lee Chia Sin have turned the tables. We lead by a point now. Oh. Oh. So Nova Vidyanto, the coach of the Malaysian mixed doubles pair, have quite a bit to say at the break. Got to get more aggressive, Chung and To. Use those downward smashes to their advantage. The defense. Oh. Finds that corner. Ye Hong Wei just goes behind his opponents. And that's Play. really well executed. Yeah, even when you sort of hit the flat or smash. The pace, as soon as you make it a pacey shot, that can carry too with that drift. So you have to almost hit at a downward angle to make sure it hits the ground within the court lines. Oh, well defended. <laughs> but the Malaysians were ready for it. Aimed it straight at Lee's body in exchange. It was really well defended round the back. Chen Tangjie was ready, aimed it at Lee. Fourteen. Oh. <laughs> On level scores. Persistent hitting by Chan Chang Jie, but he perseveres in the end. Again, with the defensive work from Ye Hong Wei, very impressive, but the smashes proved all too powerful in the end. the Malaysians. They're back ahead. But it's still too close at the moment. <laughs> Interesting reaction from Ye Hong Wei there. He almost moved his head out of the way when Li Chia Sen tried to return. A 
That's gone wide. Unable to control that. But let's take nothing away from the sh net shot from toe. Lighter touch. He has been very effective with that weapon of his. The big, powerful smash from Chan Tang Jue at the back court. We've seen that come out and get them out of troublesome situations. Two point lead now. Both have done well. They've won titles this year. Chen and Cho, of course, we talked about the Orleans Masters where they beat here and in the final. But they also have won the Chinese Taipei Open, the Malaysian pair. Even at the Chinese Taipei Open, they beat the Chinese Taipei pair in the final. So they seem to have a very good understanding of how the opposition works, the kind of badminton they play. And you see here, they've now quickly opened up a four-point lead. Four straight points in a row, two away from uh, taking this first game. Perfectly placed. Right down the middle. Five game points. They clinch it on the first game point opportunity. A steeper smash closer to the net does the trick. He has used that smash effectively. Chen Tangjie puts them in a difficult situation and then To Yi Wei with a follow-up. Excellently executed. And they have the first game. 8 points at the end of game one ensured that Chen and Cho had the advantage 21 15 which took the first game and we saw the Chinese Taipei coach Chen Hongling have quite a few words with Ye and Li because this is now a must win game for them the good news is they're on the better end of the court so we can definitely expect a fight back now. From the Chinese Taipei pair, who won the US Open title, which was their best finish this year. They beat Turi and Magalund in three games. 
runners up at the Orleans Masters. Also got to semi finals of the Taipei Open and the Thailand Open as well as the Swiss Open. So, oh! done really well this season to come up the ranks. Easily put away by Lee. Over. Loose Two, one. shot from the Malaysian side. Changes. Propel Yeh and Lee in the lead. Low serve again. Oh! And again, aiming it at the body of Toei Yi Wei. One. Makes it impossible to defend. She was pushed backwards, just trying to get out of the way. Oh! Well, how about this for a turnaround? Four quick points and they're in the lead. Comfortable position. <laughs> Frustration from Yehong Wei on that side. Fantastic work by the Chinese Taipei duo. Defensively, they were astute, but then the lovely net roll there from Li Chia Sin set it up beautifully for Ye Hong Wei to finish off the point. I think it's important here for the Malaysians to make sure they're within touching distance in this game. Super 1000s this year. They've gotten to the quarterfinals of Malaysia Open. Round oh. one of All England. Oh. As well as Indonesia Seven Open. So, so the best finish three. is the quarterfinal stages at this level in the Super 1000s. And here they find themselves trying to break new ground. Chen and Toh. Defended. Oh, both of them went for it. Oh. You have to say that was all Chen Tangjie. Slight miscommunication when both Chen and Joe went for the same shot. But he saw through the danger. correct place now. Yeah, just now, uh, wrong place, now correct. We're just clarifying the receiving positions. Malaysian pair. So we go both uh, to Ye Hong Wei. Quick a day. Yeah, all out attack from Malaysia. That was a really well built out point. Joey Wei alert as well at the net. Just going round the head with that forehand. Beautifully struck. The 
that was service, service error. Eight, five. A little bit careless. We saw a couple of times in the first game too that they gave away points on the service error. Hold up. So that's where Six. the Taipei pair had to Eight. be a little bit careful. Not pushing or lifting too much. Trying to get behind the opponents. That's always a danger zone. Super 1000s this year. They got to the second round of the Malaysian Open, but did not play in All England or Indonesia. This tournament is, in fact, their best finish at a Super 1000 for year and week. Yeah. Wide. Well wide. And I think that it's a good strategy to adopt. Play them at the net, force them to lift. Try to aim for the lines. Great serve. Really low. Eight, and they closed it down to just one point. Look how low that serve was. So tight. in driving it straight into the net Malaysia back in business and they do tend to target show you a little bit more especially with the body shots and she was defending quite well but as it Came straight at her. She was just not ready for it. It's a hard shot to defend, whether it's your chest, abdomen area, or your lower body. Ah, so a drop shot. Ooh, cut out. She's on the floor. There was a bit of a misunderstanding there between the two Malaysians. Tohiwe dashing to play that back. And the young Malaysians are bound to have a few miscommunications, but that means that Ye and Lee are ahead by two at the mid-game break. Made up, that's Play. for sure. Chan and Tur, back on the court, focused on the game at hand, trailing by two points at the mid-game break. Holly able to get it across the net. Lithiasin. He hasn't had too much trouble in this game, but that time, miss hit that. See Nova Vidyanto constantly talking to the Malaysian pair, encouraging them. Ooh, again, miscommunication. Both on the floor, but this is. Happened a couple of times in this point where they've both gone for the same so shot. We heard a clash wow. of rackets as well. Ten. It's just you need to get out of this rut that they find themselves in. Trust in each other a little bit more. Let's see 
Hagen smiling back on court. Just two points separating the two pairs. Oh, she missed it. You, gotta get, you get the feeling that Tori Yue is a little bit stuck in her own head. That's out. I'm talking about being stuck. Me too, said now it's back to back errors at the net for her. Saw her miss the shot earlier as well. Service so far, 14, oh, 11. Sense frustration between the Malaysians. I think he slipped there a little bit, Chen Kang Jie, there. And left it wide open for Ye Hong Wei to put away. That's a much better tactic to take on. Try and get the errors off the opponent's racket. Try to get them to lift, to hit long. Yeah, no, it's easier said than done. <laughs> but yeah. Steeper smash from Tori Wei. Very difficult for Leecher Sin to return. And they're back to making it a one point game. <laughs> On the defense. First at the net, somehow managed to get the lift and then it's difficult for her to absorb that pressure. You get the feeling that they're overhitting sometimes and just rushing into their shots. The Malaysians eager to close the gap I'm sure but that also means more mistakes and this is going to be an interesting couple of points next oh <laughs> just missed it it's the right idea 17 13 goes wide instead but she was looking for the far line there, Tori Wei. It's a good little spell here by Chinese Taipei. to establish control in the second game, push for the decider. No. 19, 13. So two points away from clinching this second game. And a big smash 14, from Ye Hong Wei. Goes down the middle with it as well. Seven game point opportunities. Yeah. Seven points in a row second for Chinese Taipei. I mean, they have taken the second 13. game 21-13 to push this match into a decider. Excellent work at the net by Li Chia Sin makes up for the earlier errors and have now created an opportunity for themselves here. We're into a decider.
Final game in this mixed doubles quarter final between Chen and Cho of Malaysia and Ye and Li of Chinese Taipei. Come back from Ye and Li proving very successful. They took that second game 21 13, going on a seven final point run game. at the end. And now Li Chia Sin will serve to get this decider underway. Low serve. Remember, they're five and nothing in quarterfinals. Yearly, a hundred percent win record, except for the one walkover they gave to Jiang and Huang at the Japan Open quarterfinals. So that doesn't really count in terms of losses. They withdrew from that round. Other than that, at the Swiss Open. One, Rivaldi two. and Mantari, who retired in the second game yeah, yeah. at the Orleans Masters. They beat Indonesia's Sianawi and Kando in straight games. In Thailand ah. Open quarterfinal. They beat Midori Kawa and Saito in straight games. One. And Chinese Taipei Open. Ye Hongwei, Li Chia Sin, saw Hu and Tio of Malaysia also in straight games. Finally, the U.S. Open, they saw Chen and Yang, their compatriots, in straight games as well. So not only have they won all their quarterfinals, they've done it in straight games so far. This is the first quarterfinal that's gone to three. Can they hold on to that impeccable record? That's the question. Really well executed, Choi Yi. Choi Yi was on the floor. Then they miss hit it at the end. That drop shot was extremely well fought, but the follow-up, unfortunately, just couldn't get that on the line. Rio. Well, we talked about Chun and Cho's quarterfinals. They won the last three of four. Last quarterfinal of the World Championships, as I mentioned, they lost. But before that, they won the Chinese Taipei Open. They beat Yang and Hu in straight games. At the Singapore Open, they beat Li and Ng of Hong Kong, China in three games, dropping the middle game. And Orleans Masters quarterfinal as well. Straight games, they beat Jiang and Wei, the Asian champions. Yep, right on the line. It's pretty successful. Second half of the year they've had. Annoyed with herself there. Totally no. Lee Chia Sin. Totally no. No, no that. I want you to clearly. No, no, it's really, really far away. Yeah, I'm like kind of 
appeal to the umpire there, but it's clear. clear. Two-point lead for Malaysia early in this decider. More importantly, they've won four points in a row. Big yells coming off here, Hong Wei. Five. From the backcourt. Also. Steeper smash and then the follow up from Lee at the net. Equally steep. The nerves, I'm sure. All four are unimaginable. So much riding on this match. He has been very effective with his smashes as well. Yeah, the way he's a tall player, he makes use of his height to get the angle on those smashes. Then he takes the jump as well. It's a big ask for Toe to return. Yeah. Right on the line. Couldn't have placed it any better. Seven, five. He's really pumped up, isn't he? No, no, no. Yeah, Hong Wei. As the lead exchange hands once more. the net she makes the jump and then just misses it completely Lee Chia Sin had the perfect opportunity there one-point game again he's done it time and time again in this match Chen Tangjue goes for the flatter smash on this occasion but it's about the placement again between the two players both of them try to Go for it. This is a left right combination. And so they find that space effectively. This game has stood and flowed a few times. It's going to go down to the wire. Held it for a while there, John Dunbar. The last few points have been costly errors for the Chinese Taipei pair. Twice at the net, once going wide. Given three points as a result on errors. Get ready, Victor. Quick power only. Mm. Wipe down for Yu Hongwei. 
because it's quite warm in here so tendency to sweat a lot more. and have the break have the lead at the break 11 7 up and it's been back-to-back -back errors for the Chinese Taipei pair which they will be ruining trailing by four here in the decider Back and forth, and it'll be Chu Yi Wei who will serve for the second half of the decider. It's now or never. That was going to be difficult to defend from across the court, but that was excellent vision by Chen Tang Jie. He went looking for the far corner. That exchange between Cho and Lee at the net, and it's Lee who comes out on top. Just moves away forward. It's sharper and sharper with her forehand. of the net. Some serious variety in his game, the 25-year-old. And the world number 11 is now in a much more secure position. They've got their tails up now. Chen and Toe. See the flatter. Shots are making the difference at the moment. The quick exchanges, the flat exchanges between the two, and it's coming in extremely handy for the Malaysians. Six point lead here. They've won. Nine of the last ten points. So it's been called out and he's immediately raised his racket, Chen Chang Jie. That's the right decision by the line guard. So an unsuccessful challenge by Malaysia. Makes this a five-point lead for Malaysia. Ooh. 
decision from Joey Ray. She absolutely pounces on that at the net. Look at that, just takes it early and then aims it straight at Ye because Nishio Sin is still sort of crouched down. by Choi Wei, who was waiting to see if it would land outside. <laughs> Both Malaysians sitting across each other, out of breath. That's a sight to see, but Choi Wei makes a dash across. Takes it late. Gets there in time, but it's just unable to control the shuttle. And she was waiting to see if it would go over the net. Four points now separating the two. And I think this has got to be the last push by Ye and Lee. Okay. They're looking to get into the sixth semi final of the year. Their five zip quarter final record under threat. The Chen Tang Jie and Tori Wei, a fifth semi final. Would be what they're looking for. They've definitely come out on top quite often in the third game when it comes to the net exchanges that are quite quick and flat. Hello, sir. Oh, so mm, lovely low serve. So close to the net. Now this is a very good lead for Malaysia. Some momentum here, Yuan and Lee. String a few points together. Put the Malaysians under pressure. Because they will be under pressure. She's yeah, broken her racket. Toi Wei trying to get that smash. They will be under pressure as they try to close out this game. They have the lead. That's seen it. Narrow down now to three points. Oh, she makes a mistake, a costly mistake at the net. Lee Chia Sin trying to get over with a net roll. It's such a tight exchange right there. Good net shot, and she just played the shuttle straight into the net instead of trying to lift. Thank you. Unquote. 
some breathing space now for Malaysia, just three points away from victory. A little too loose from Chan. Put that 18. away with ease. Lee Chia Sin. That one there was the final blow. Oof. Yeah. He goes on both sides of Ye Hong Wei with the smashes. Gets themselves out of what could have been a tricky situation. First on the forehand, then trying to go on the backhand. That is clever work. Two points away from the victory. A place in the semi finals of the China Open. was that shot that is excellent work not only did he take it early but the way he was able to place it be behind Lichia Sin beg your pardon superbly taken shot sets up five match points here for Malaysia good return Made use of that open space on the court. semi-final here at the China Open and they were taking the distance but it proved too strong in the end for Ye Hongwei and Li Chia Sin and in the end it was that forehand from Li that went too long affected by the drift but take nothing away from 15, the effort that these 13, two have put in. Chun and Cho through to the semi-finals, a fifth semi-final of 2023. 21 15, 13 21, 21 16 in 55 minutes. Celebrations there from Chen Tangjie, who rewarded the fans with some shuttles. Confirmation of the score that they're through to the semi finals.
So we're down one match here on quarterfinal day on court two and Chen Tangjie and Chou Yiwei securing a win in three games will face the winner of this match that's about to take place in the mixed doubles. Storm Jaquel, Delphine Deru, number eight seeds taking on Yuta Watanabe and Arisa Higashino, the number two seeds. That's the match that's coming up on court two. See the draw and the first quarter semi final place booked by the Malaysians. And now it's Jiguel and Del Rue and Watanabe and Higashino. We will battle to see who faces the Malaysians. On the other end, I can tell you that Seo Sung Jae and Che Yu Jung are just two points away from clinching a come from behind victory against Jung and Huang, but that's still in play. Jung and Huang trailing 15 19 in the third game. The winner there will face either Povarnuk Nukro Teratanachai or Tankian Meng and Lai Pei Jin of Malaysia. Potential for Malaysia to, to have two semi finalists here. We'll have to see how that plays out because right now we're going to talk about the match at hand. And that is the one between France and Japan, a fourth meeting between these two pairs. Both top 10 pairs, of course, both high quality pairs. And uh, many might be surprised that it's Jaquel and Del Rue who lead their head-to-head -head record two to one. So they have always troubled the Japanese. <laughs> Tom Jaquel and Delphine Del Rue last met Yuta Watanabe and Arisa Higashino at the Sudaman Cup in 2023 in the group stages and then the French won that 29-27 what a first game and then 21-16 in the second so that was the last meeting you can see before that they met in 2022 at the Indonesia Open quarterfinals and Watanabe and Higashino won that in three 2024 20, 21-11 21-13 their first meeting was at the Denmark Open and you have to go back to 2019 for that First round meeting, Jaquel and Del Rue winning that 21 19, 13 21, 21 19. And going by those score lines, you'd have to say that first game seems pretty crucial and pretty hard fought. Delphine Del Rue on your screens with her partner Tom Jaquel, who's 24. They're the same age. And Tua France, ranked number eight in the world at the moment have gone up to the top five number five that was in january this year and well they have a win-loss record together of 22 to 12 this year there's delphin del rue also 24 from sarcel france in the quarterfinals that win loss is not as favorable two wins to three losses is how it stands the two wins coming at the european games and the indonesia masters and looking how they made their way here they beat chun and chun in the first round in straight games and then again straight game wins over midori kawa and saito in round two so have yet to drop a game and uh, well they'll be hoping that it doesn't get there not again these two at least Yuta Watanabe and Arisa Higashino, number two in the world. Watanabe, 26 years away from Tokyo, Japan. They were world number ones not so long ago in November of 2022. He and his partner Arisa Higashino have a 32 to 10 win-loss record in 2022 that has seen them get back near the top. Higashino, the older of the two, 27 from Hokkaido. The quarter final win loss stands at 7 to 1. The only right. loss coming at Canada Open where they lost to Li and Su of Chinese Taipei in two games. Other than that, they've won every quarter final. Looking to book their place in an eighth semi final. 
Two Hong Kong China pairs, they met en route. They beat Lee and Ng in three games. That was hard fought. They had to come back from a game down in 61 minutes. And then Tang and Sir was an easier round in the second round, beating them in 33 minutes. Su Xiaofeng is your umpire from China. And he will be joined in the service judges chair by Bert van Horenbeek of Belgium. Well, they both played at the World Championships. Tom Jekyll and Domfrey Daru exited in the third round, lost to Chen and To in three games, the Malaysians. For Watanabe and Higashino, they settled for a World Championships bronze medal, losing to the eventual champions, Sio and Che, in the semi finals in two games. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Tom Jekyll and Delphine Daly, France. On my left, Alisa Higoshino and Yuta Watanabe, Japan. Devon Daly to step to Alisa Higoshino. Labo. Hey. Oh. Play. 